It's early, my man. Before you go back to London, there's one experience I think you should have. So today I'm taking you to some of my favorite bodega slash breakfast carts because one thing quintessential about being a New Yorker, you could pop into a bodega, there's plenty of breakfast carts on the street here in Manhattan where you get an amazing bacon, egg, and cheese, or a chopped cheese. I don't know how I can really explain a bodega to you. Like, you guys have corner shops, right? Yeah, we have corner shops, like convenience stores tend to be open quite late, but they don't tend to make, like, hot food in okay. the store, whereas they do in bodegas. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So think of this like your corner shops meet, uh, you know, cafes, I guess? Yeah, okay. All right, so the first place we're going to up here is uh, Mama Joe's breakfast cart. It's not a bodega, I know. I'm starving though, let's eat. <laughs> All right. Can I please have two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and a roll. There you go. Thank you so very much, you have a great day. Thank you. Take care, thanks. First bacon, egg, and cheese in New York City, five bucks. New York City lives on these, my man. But as you can see, no frills, just delicious egg delicious cheese and delicious bacon. This one comes from the Mama Joe breakfast cart, which of course is not a bodega. I kind of bent the rules because I wanted to take you here because this was voted the best breakfast cart in New York City. Mama Joe gets up every day at midnight to be open by four, they close by 11. Okay. Right? Early to bed, early to rise. Yeah. Makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise, as that, they say. It does. But uh, do you make a good bacon, egg, and cheese? They make a fantastic one, maybe the best in the city, and I wanted you to have it. What should I expect buying into this? Amazing deliciousness. You're going to expect strangers to take pictures of you on the streets. <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> Tag me. <laughs> should we give it a go? Yeah. Okay. How good is this? That's really good. I have one of these every day. It's delicious, man. Now, Mama Joe's, she excels at this. But I want you to understand that this is an example of the type of sandwich you can get at any bodega, any cart, on this island, or any borough surrounding it. It's really, really good. Mm. I can see why most New Yorkers want to start their day with one of these. Yeah. It doesn't feel too heavy. Uh -uh. I know there's like fried bacon in here, there's no. cheese in here, but it doesn't feel like heavy or fatty necessarily. Every time I get one and I'm going in, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it with ketchup. I, I just took the buzz. I got ketchup on a sandwich. I'm not into it. And then I forget, and then I bite in and it has ketchup in it. And I'm like, actually, ketchup's awesome. I think it works really well with the bacon of all things, mm -hmm. right? So, a little bit of that like salty and sweet mm -hmm. combination. Oh, oh, oh. They've been quite sparing with the ketchup as well. It's not like they've lathered it on there. Just That's like a little, true. just a little bit. But you saw in there, there's like that small griddle that he's cooking on, right? You saw that small flat top? Tiny, not a lot of room to operate on that. And you see today, a lot of the places we go to, yeah, it's not this big kitchen setup. It's just something that's right there. Boom, boom, boom. They make exactly what you want, exactly what you need. And hey man, five American dollars, the price is nice. I'm really surprised that we don't have more food trucks, particularly in London. Or just like, I guess, places where you can get a hot, ready bacon sandwich really easily. Or yeah, like a sandwich. bacon buddy. Is that what yeah, you call it? I mean, so buddy. What is it called? Butty. Butty. B u double t y. Now the bacon buddy. Does that come with uh, egg and cheese and ketchup? Can do. Not usually. If it does come with egg, it's more likely to be a fried egg yeah. rather than yeah other stuff. Ketchup is common. Brown sauce is common. It's harder to get one on the go. Yeah. I mean, I quite like the way you guys do things here. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, it's I great. Like, I like the American cheese on a breakfast sandwich. I think that works really, really well. You guys, they made fun of that American cheese, all the ingredients in Food Wars. Mm -hmm. Now you're eating it. What do you think? It's good. Yeah. yeah it that's works. right. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, that's gross. Us Americans are like, yeah. Try it. That, they like bring on the chemicals. That terrible milk, sodium citrate, it all works, man. It's good. Bring on the borax or whatever's in there. <laughs> anyway, next place I'm taking you, it's not gonna be a bacon, egg, and cheese, it's gonna be a chopped cheese. Your mind is about to be blown. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. So, just to confirm, you've never had a chopped cheese before? Never in my life. Do you not even know what a chopped cheese is? Not really. Incredibly popular in New York City. You get them all over the place. Every place does it a little bit differently. So, I want to take you to a chopped cheese place that claims to be the inventor of the chopped cheese. The home of the chopped yeah. cheese. So, we're here in Harlem. We're going to check mm -hmm. it out in there. I love them. Everyone in New York eats them. It's kind of like a staple thing to have here in New York. Pop into a bodega, grab a chopped cheese. Your neighborhood spot does it a little bit different than everybody else. But, all, right. all right. Should we give it a try? Yeah, definitely. The size of those pickles, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this uh, city obsessed with pickles. I'm gonna watch the master at work. It's kind of like the cafes you guys go to in London where uh, you're just making it up on the grill? Uh, sort of, yeah. Although I'd say this is more of a uniquely uh, New York experience. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Thanks so much, man. Thank you so very much. Okay. So, and you got nothing like this in the UK, right? No. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had anything like this. So as you can see, the guy was chopping up the hamburger. Yep. 
with cheese and onions. There's obviously lettuce and tomato, put salt and pepper on here. Was there ketchup? Ketchup and, and mayo. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a bite and then we'll talk. Okay. All right, man. Mmm. I know you've got nothing like this in London. Damn. That's so good. Fantastic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. New York knows what's up. I like the ketchup on the mayo on here. This is like a, a saucy sandwich. Yeah. I've been to a bunch of places in New York to do chopped cheese. Mm -hmm. And they're always very good. This one is on next level, though. Yeah. I mean, they say they originated it, but they've also certainly, I think, perfected it. I mean, he said he's been making these since, like, 1988, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of chopped cheese. There's a lot of chopped cheese. And I think that shows. He really, really knew what he was doing. Watching that guy in action, yeah. watching a master craftsman at work. I love the bread on this. Oh. Oh. He was toasting the rolls. Yeah, it's cute. You really get, like, a crisp on the outside. You see, obviously, this is going to be different from, like, we went to Philly and had cheesesteaks. It's nothing like a cheesesteak. There's a few, like, bare-bones similarities. Obviously, like, you know, it's beef, cheese, and bread in oh, some kind so. of combination. But, like, the way they've gone about each of those individual ingredients is just completely different. Yeah. The crunchy toasted roll, the chopped-up hamburger. Yeah. While it is hamburger, I feel like the quality it hasn't dropped off from, like, what I guess was ribeye mostly on a cheesesteak. Yeah. Because I feel like they're just using a really good quality beef yeah. hamburger. It's getting the same treatment on the grill. Yeah. Really flavorful and juicy. I mean, this is nothing new to a New Yorker. Like, everyone in the city knows about the chopped cheese. It's incredibly popular. It's a mainstay of the bodega menu. But it's, it's, it's crazy to me that people come here and they've never heard of this. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, so you've never heard of this before? I think maybe the cheesesteak just has a better PR campaign going on. I guess. But honestly, I feel like this is a sandwich made by the people for the people, you know? This is just kind of like hitting all those aspects that you want from like a satisfying, yeah. fast sandwich for your lunch. This is sick, man. It's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so what did you think of the bodega vibe just in general versus, I don't know, corner shops or cafes you have in London? I think it's really cool. I feel like bodegas seem to form much more of a, like a part of the community mm -hmm. in New York than they do in London and possibly just anywhere else. Would you agree with that? Yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> It's like this nice, like, independent corner store that everyone living by in the neighborhood can kind of, like, always depend on for something to eat, to get the groceries they need. You know, hot cup of coffee. I don't really get that in other cities, at least not in America. No, definitely not in London. I will say, like, I'm sure some people out there have a corner shop that they go to regularly and they're, like, friendly with the guy. Yeah. But I think a lot of the time, particularly in the UK, you don't get that many independent shops anymore. A lot of the like corner style stores will be run by chains uh -huh. or will be things like a small version of a Tesco or a Sainsbury's. Yeah. And it just doesn't have quite as much of like a personal feel to it, which I think is kind of sad because I like the community aspect. It's not just a place where you will go and buy your milk and your newspaper. It's a place where you can go hang out, chat to the guy, get like a nice fulfilling meal. I just think it's really cool. I like it. All right, I'm glad you liked your first chopped cheese. Take it to another spot, does chopped cheese a little bit differently. Let's go right now. All right, man. At spot number three, I took you to a cart, I took you to a regular bodega, and now we've combined the two, we're going to the bodega truck. What I like about this guy is not only is a merge of the cart that's mobile and the bodega menu, but also today I want to get you something that's a mix of a chopped cheese and a bacon, egg, and cheese, right? It's okay. so the first two we did, combining number three, eating the best of both worlds. Right, real like hybrid going yeah. on here. Yeah. I'm, here, I'm here for it, I like it. Okay. I feel like it shows how popular the bodega sandwiches are if someone has taken them and made it mobile. Yeah. I feel like there's demand for it. it must be pretty good. All right, just get a temperature. How are you feeling right now for two sandwiches? I've got room in the tank. All right, Let's good. go. Let's get a sandwich. Hey, bud, what's happening? What's up, man? How you doing? Great, great, great. I think we're going to go with the good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, sure. please. I just got to ask you real quick, how long you've been doing this truck? It's been two years, actually. Oh, two, two years? Two nice. Years and uh, how, how often are you out on the streets? Wednesday through Sunday. We're in a different borough every single day. We nice. try to go to different communities, different areas of New York. We're in, you know, different boroughs. Nice. nice. I just noticed you guys have quarter waters here? Yeah. How much are they? Now they're 50 cents. The quarter waters are 50 cents? Now, oh, now, I mean, everything is up. The dollar slice of buck 50, the quarter waters are 50 cents. Oh my God, this has to stop. This has to stop. Awesome. Does your uh, bodega cat have a name? His name is Manny. 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 Nice. Manny the manager. I got the Tims here too. Manny the manager of the Tims. When I was wow, for oh, real? Really? <laughs> oh, I love that. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Good morning. Thanks, man. Thanks Have a so good one. much. You know, if you guys need anything else. Thank we'll you. Thanks, pal. Chopped cheese meets a bacon, egg, and cheese. Boom. Oh, man. Bro, are you kidding oh, me? Oh, look at the cheese pull. I want to point out the egg was a sunny side egg. Yes. So it's running over, not scrambled. And also, it's got hash browns in it. Oh. But. Of course, I'm seeing bacon. I'm seeing the chopped up hamburger meats. Yeah, my guy, he had a uh, ketchup and mayo combination he puts on here. 
There's no uh, lettuce or tomato like there was on the other yeah. chopped cheese. So I but, would say it's maybe leaning slightly more towards like the breakfast sandwich than the chopped cheese. I mean, I said it a few times before, but I'll say it again. Everyone's doing it their own way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, How man. good is that? <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. It maybe seemed, I mean, he's doing two sandwiches in one. Like, ah, uh, might be overkill, might be like two delicious taste clashing with the one another, but no, yeah. actually they work perfectly together. It's harmonious, yeah. I do like, it's a little messier, but I actually like the sunny side up egg. I like the yolk kind of spilling out of the sandwich, flavoring it. Mm. Bacon's nice and crispy. There's a lot oh. going on, but it does work. Mm. And the hash brown. Yeah, the Hash man. brown's a secret weapon here. Mm -hmm. That really gives it almost this, uh, this thickness. It absorbs all the flavors. Yeah. Fantastic. I would say maybe the first bacon, egg, and cheese that we had was more of a sort of like, I can get this on the way to work, and then I can go sit down at my desk, have a productive morning. I don't know if I would want to eat this as a breakfast food. No. This <laughs> is I feel a... like if I had this, I would not be answering many emails in the morning. Yeah, this says you eat it and then go back to bed. <laughs> Fantastic though, right? It's good, really good. Well, don't get too full up on that. So we couldn't leave without trying the homies, chopped cheese, get in there, the OG, the original. I'm not thinking the last two sandwiches we've had. Mm -hmm. Seen lettuce and tomato. It's got a uh, mayo and ketchup mix. Mm -hmm. Of course, cheese. Yep. It's in there. All the same ingredients as like the Haji's chopped cheese. Yeah. Slightly yeah. different composition. Like a roll, more right? More of a roll than yeah, like the, roll, the, yeah. the hero right. roll. I'm going in. Looks very good. Mm. Wow. Oh. Man. It's fantastic. Definitely a heftier sandwich. It mm. feels like there's more meat on this one than there was on the other uh, two that we've had. Yeah, I think I'd agree. It's every component is seasoned, has a lot of flavor. He's his own mix of cheese, right? It's like a cheddar American mix that he makes. Okay. This okay. is like a beefy, a yeah, beefy boy. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, if you look at the price point, it's a little bit more, but also feels like you're getting a little bit more. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. love the mm -hmm. way that when you chop up the hamburger like this and then add the cheese, it just forms like one homogenous mass, doesn't it? Every bite, you get everything in it? Uh-huh. You can see what my guy wants to like drive around the city and provide this for people who don't have access to it, right? Yeah, man. It's a really smart idea. It really is. The more of these I eat, the more I'm just like, why do we not have these in London? I don't I agree, why not? Now, I notice you're still eating it. I can't stop, man. All right, I'm so well, full. You're gonna have to stop because I got one more spot to take you and it's a very special spot that okay. I think you're really gonna like. Okay. All right, here you go. When the food's this good, it's really hard to right, stop, but give it back. I will. All right, okay. on to the next place, let's All go. Right, yes, sir, may I help you today? I know I wanna do a bacon, egg, and cheese wants you to do with these jumbo honey buns the Aki way. Sure, sure, the only way you can't forget your bath. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. <laughs> you guys want a hash brown in there, a mozzarella sticks, the Aki way. That's what it is. What is, is, that the, what it is? is that the Aki way? The Aki way is. Then give us it the Aki with way. The hash brown and the mozzarella yeah. sticks. Let's go. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> this place, man. This is going to kill <laughs> us. Yeah. This bodega has become TikTok famous. It's not the, the Aki way. What they do is, on top of making a chopped cheese or any type of sandwich you want, you can grab something off the shelves and throw it in there and they can kind of incorporate it the Aki way. I'm going with something I saw on TikTok, so I know it's gonna be good, but I'm morbidly curious if they could make one with like, like these apple pies, we got brownies here, we got ho-hos. I mean, I've seen some videos of them make some crazy stuff. I think I saw one where we made a sandwich with Skittles, oh. which I don't know, which is funny. I don't know how good it would taste. That might be too far. Do you think they could? I'm not going to ask. Do you think you could do like a chopped cheese? You just put the whole thing inside a, a pound cake? <laughs> All right. That would be ridiculous. I will say, American Bodega seems to have like a really good range of pre-packaged baked goods. Yeah. So I guess right. it kind of lends itself to, uh, to the Bodega Deli style. Yeah. I love how these guys have just embraced the idea of, yeah, we'll have it your way. You want us to throw something on there, we'll do it, you know? I don't know how common this is in all of New York. No. We came here specifically to do this, so. This and unfortunately, the guy is not here today, so it's all good. We're getting a lot of bacon, That baby. was like 10 strips of bacon at I least. Know. We can't forget the Bev. Can I get oh, some yeah, Bev's, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, what, do you th what are you thinking is gonna pair well with bacon, egg, and cheese, and honey buns? I mean, I hmm. feel like this is like an Arizona iced tea vibe. Yeah. Right? I feel like there's gotta be some sort of- I don't know if I've of... had one before. I You've mean, never had an Arizona iced tea before? I'm, I know they're famous for like, kind of cap the price at a dollar. That's right, 99 really cents still. They even holding put it, firm. They even put it on the can so no one can try and upsell them. Does that track you think like iced tea would go, an Arizona iced tea would go well with it? Or are you gonna go with a Gator? I'm down for those. I've probably had enough Gatorade this now week I, to last I me mean, a lifetime. Now that I think about it, it's gonna be really sweet with the honey buns, <laughs> right? Is there I, a nice savory iced tea? I don't think there is. I'm wondering if I wanna, turn down the sweetness. What else do we have here? This type of variation is very uncommon in the UK. Right. 
This is just so many choices. We I mean, have look at what? This. this entire row of fridges. Arizona iced tea, Arizona the iced tea. I mean, they got two, they got two whole rows over here. Like 19 different Gatorades. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed now. My small British brain can't comprehend the choice on offer here. Yeah. I feel like this sandwich is gonna kill me. American cereals also baffle me. Why do you have a Wendy's Frosty cereal? Because Wendy's Frosties are delicious and I don't want to wait till noon to have one. I want to have it with my breakfast. I went to shops in the UK that were about this size that had like half of the stuff at the most. Yeah. That's really funny that even you guys, you have spaces this small and you still have like nothing in it. I feel like, yeah, I don't know where we're going wrong in like optimizing the space. Hash brown is going to be legit. Mm -hmm. Mozzarella sticks. He's also putting, did you notice he was putting uh, shredded cheese in the egg that he's whipping up? Oh my God. Come on, dude. Come on, right? What a delicious way to die horribly of heart disease. Dude, this is going to be like a uh, uh, bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Or bacon, <laughs> egg, and cheese McGriddle, yeah. The Bodega McGriddle. Let's yeah, the, it, this man. will be the, these are Bodega McGriddles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Can that. I see that real quick? Yeah. A somewhat alarming amount of fat and sugar in this. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Now's the time where you're suddenly concerned about your fat and sugar intake? <laughs> We've been this whole week. We've been this whole video. True. And what? I feel like we're going to put cheese and stuff on it anyway, yeah. so it's fine. Let's just you're going to load this with like, like mozzarella sticks and stuff. <laughs> but what is suddenly you're concerned about what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bacon and cheese on a honey bun, the Aki way and the only way. Bro. <laughs> now we wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, cut that bad boy now. So this. Yo! <laughs> Got never, it. Never, never, never. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so this is maybe the most ridiculous sandwich I've ever yeah. laid my hands on. Honey buns, bacon, egg, cheese, mozzarella sticks, a hash brown, I covered it in syrup. This is this is massive, dude. This is intense. I I, I want to dig into this like right now. I'm glad this is the last stop of the trip because. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna to need to lie down immediately after I take a bite of this. Yeah, ready? Let's go. How much of this can I? Can I get this all in one? Let's go. Mmm, yeah, dude. This is actually amazing. It's actually amazing. Oh my god. It's actually kind of good. It's great. <laughs> it's actually fantastic. really good. Somehow that all kind of works yeah, together. It all works together. So fantastic. When he was making this on the right. grill, yeah. I was convinced this was like two sandwiches, like yeah. someone else had ordered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just, well, he somehow... just thought he was supposed to do two because there was two of us. Maybe. And nope. then he somehow just fit everything he was cooking onto one this sandwich. Thing is just, I got... Jesus, man. Yeah, the mozzarella sticks really work on it this works for some reason. I thought it'd go... <laughs> How does this work? Everyone's used to being able to specialize your food with what's on the menu, what meats or cheeses you have. But the fact yeah. that, like, take anything in the storm will make it work, I think, is very interesting. And we could have grabbed, you know, uh, trail mix and and Welch's <laughs> fruit snacks. And the guy mm. with Nick is like, yo, this is gonna suck. Gonna but suck. you gotta get paid You're for it. You're gonna pay for it. So. It makes sense. You have all this stuff at your disposal. Why not just throw it on a sandwich? People love this. It looks impressive. I was worried it was gonna be all just how it looks, you know, the like TikTok viral sensation, and that it would actually taste really bad. Yeah. But somehow. It's been fantastic. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's really good. I think the McGriddle comment actually does hold up. That's the, the vibe that I get with the syrup, particularly. Yeah. The honey buns with the bacon and the eggs and the cheese. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's actually it's fantastic, really cool. man. Love it. Uh, it's getting crowded in here, so let's go someplace else and a debrief. Perfect. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. I mean, that was a bodega experience. I feel like we really covered every possible thing a bodega has to offer there. Right. I feel like a real New Yorker now, it's great. Yeah, I took you to four different places today, all kind of did sandwiches their own way. Three bodegas, well, two bodegas, a bodega truck and a cart. It's like a bodega, I guess. I really just snuck that in because I really want you to try uh, bacon, egg and cheese. But after all that, what do you think of bodega culture here in New York City? I love bodega culture. Yeah. I actually think going back to London, this might be the one thing that I would take back to there with me if yeah. I could. Yeah. I just think it's a great idea. Like we have convenience stores, but not many of them have a place where you can also go get a hot, fresh sandwich. Yeah. It's a nice kind of community vibe as well in a bodega, I think, compared to some of the equivalent shops in the UK, particularly in London. So yeah, I just think they're really, really great. I do think every one of them had one great thing going for them. Mama Joe's, I mean, she's been doing it forever. Starts at midnight, they're all morning. Coffee was incredible, bacon, egg and cheese was incredible. I love the location right there in Manhattan. Haji's, the original chopped cheese, fantastic sandwich. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. Fantastic. Have to pay homage to where that whole thing kind of originated from as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the bodega truck. Bodega truck, 
I just love how this guy, he brings a bodega to you, you know what I mean? And I, who knows where it's gonna be tomorrow, but you know, if you see it, guy's gonna make you an incredible sandwich. Love the, the, the baby Tim's hanging from the window. This guy had, you know, quarter waters up in front that now apparently are 50 cents. Everyone's hurting, man. man. It's tough times. Yeah. But those sandwiches, incredible, right? And of course, yeah. Aki Way. Aki Way. Right? Man, that honestly shocked me with how good it was. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a gimmick. Mm -hmm. I took a bite and I was like, oh man. It's incredible. And then I finished the whole thing. Yeah. And we're already thinking of like what we're going to have them make next, next time we go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It really makes it like an event. Yeah. And I know that some people might roll their eyes at someone taking a classic thing like a bodega sandwich and putting what is a very, very unique and different spin on it and maybe could be considered a little bit gimmicky, but honestly, the result, man, I don't think you can argue with that. Yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. And one thing is for sure, we're not at all acting like we just discovered these places. We are not. Okay. No so, one could accuse us of that. Yes, yeah, so and you visit the blokes back in London, you're having a pint with the lads, and they say, oi, what bodega should I go to, mate? <laughs> what are you gonna say? It's really hard to say. I think for a very authentic bodega experience and Possibly my favorite sandwich of the day. I think Haji's was really, really great. Okay. I thought that chopped cheese, it's the original. I know other people have put their own spin on it. Yeah. But that, I think, was just a really, really, really good sandwich. Simple, but elegant, tasty. Can't really ask for much more than that. Yeah, it was fantastic. Bodega Game in New York is strong.